We're almost there. Yeah, I'm right behind you. <laughs> what are you afraid of, Ice? No. I told you that. Sometimes when I look past the wall, I think that I can see something out there. Do you? No, I don't. Maybe you need to look harder. I am looking. I'm just not seeing what you're seeing. When it's right in front of your face, you will. So we're really gonna do this? technical problems so we get to spend more time <laughs> Perfect. Good. okay ready okay um congratulations on the film it's amazing i loved it how much were how much excited wait how excited were you to take on all this action you know things that you have to do uh you know it's always good to get back into the films um you, you know, luckily the, the characters have enough depth where you feel like you can still play with stuff and there's still something to explore. Um, you know, I, I, I think it's important that each movie you do, you try and step it up a notch um, because otherwise what's the point um, in a way? And I think Robert was very ambitious with, with, this, with, with this third one, uh, so we shall see. Nice. And in personal life, what is the most rebellious thing you've ever done? Because your character is always going against the norm. So what's the most rebellious thing you've ever done? Robbed a bank. Really? What about you? What? What about you? What? <laughs> what's the most rebellious thing you've done? I like this thing. You keep flipping on to me. I'm like, everybody's interested in knowing about you. No, they want to know about you as well. Come on, you're the interviewer. Um, I, really, I don't know. I think um, probably just you know, sneak out of my house for a week straight nice, and then get nice. caught at the end. So, yeah. Good work. Good work. <laughs> what would you implement from your character in real life? Um, uh, you know, he's, he's, uh, he's pretty blunt and he, uh, he's someone who, who can kind of say what's on his mind. So maybe a little bit more of that would be useful. Nice. And what's your definition of pure and damaged? And what would you choose for yourself? Oh, I think everyone's a bit damaged. There's no such thing as pure, I don't think. Uh, pure, I, okay, I'd say pure is uh, unachievable. Damaged mm -hmm. is realistic. Nice. And if you were able to go over the wall, what would you want to find on the other side? Um, Dallas, Texas. <laughs> Why? I love that town. Okay, I think it's because the size of everything is just bigger. I'm better, right? <laughs> <laughs> maybe, yeah, maybe. I've actually never been there, but I'd like to see it one day. Nice. And what's an Aladdin country or maybe somewhere you would want to go Ooh, that you can go? That, I'd love to go to. There, there are lots of countries, Aladdin countries. Um, El Salvador. Hmm. That's a random mm. one. <laughs> yeah. Where are you from? Colombia. Colombia. Oh, I'd love to go to Colombia, I have to say. Yeah, you should. There's lots of places to check out. Well, thanks for your time, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.